divided up. Will you win $400,000 or will you win $200,000? Now, granted, that's a good place to have those <laughs> under two options, but it's amazing how much money is on the line here. Yep. And it's no better map and mode than Search and Destroy on Meltdown. I am just fired up here for these two teams. We call for Eco Impact to win it all. Yep. I guess we're gonna have to go for Eco Impact for this game. But man, Envy. Yep. Envy going They're massive. It now. just went off on that last map. Can they try and replicate that now on the search and destroy? They're gonna be on the attacking side first. So there's gonna be a little bit of pressure on them. If they can win this first round, they could be building on the foundation of something the special. Absolutely. You win your offense is it's definitely fire. incredibly helpful because playing the defensive side is clearly easier. As we are on board with Stainville, he's going to be the bomb carrier, getting some trophy systems down. And that helps right Your away there. Actually, it got destroyed. Destroy I think he destroyed something and it got destroyed yep. at the same time. Still picked up those 25 points. That's going to help him towards his first score streak, which is going to be running much, the RCXD. Well, it's better than every nothing. Every point counts, right? Every point counts at the, at this level. This match, right? in this, yeah. yeah, in this level, I will take every point I can get if I'm Stainville. And he's going to be using that MMS. Let's have a look at what Rambo's up to. Let me check in the middle of the map. And you can just see on that mini-map how the teams are setting up. Very close to Miracles here. Miracles yep. is up there at the top part. Rambo just checking his corners, playing very slowly, carefully, making sure they don't do anything too brash here. Rambo's going to backtrack towards his team. And let's jump back with Stainville, the bomb carrier, taking it very slowly, waiting for Farico to make a mistake in that MMS. Look, he's got somebody lit up. Is he going to oh, try man. to wall bang, or is he going to move up there? Check Rambo's going to draw first blood, taking out Miracles. 4v3 situation in favor of Envy. Shots fired back and forth. Two players down now as we switch over to Farico. Karma's got the sniper rifle looking for a player here. They are on the defensive side of things. Parasite trying to go to A. Let's switch over to him as he knows they must be over there. And now he's playing quietly. Picks Big up one in the bomb planter. And that's gonna, he's gonna get J Cap. Oh my gosh, hit markers, not able to pick it up. And there you have it. Not enough time, so oh, Karma just has to stay, stay alive. alive. Stay alive. Oh, Karma stays alive, the game's oh, over, and Karma does do that for Rico. Oh, takes game there. number one here yeah, on Search and Destroy. Try. Yep, smart play from there from Karma. Didn't need to challenge. Parasite did all the work there, managed to kill the bomb planter, then the bomb support. Fantastic play from him. Unfortunately, he did get taken down almost immediately after this kill cap, but he did enough. That's all he needed to do. Yep, for Rico now, 1 0 up in this search. That was an incredibly smart play by Parasite. Yep. Very heads up, moved in, took out the bomb carrier, bought him a little bit more time, and that was enough for Farico to get the win. Karma making sure he stayed safe. That was all it took. So now we're on board with Proofy and the MV squad trying to show off their finesse on the defensive side. You can see once again how these two lineups are going to be setting up, and it seems to be a big engagement going to be going on on that A bomb site. There's That's lots great. of players going down yes. there. Two players for Rico, so it's a 4v2 situation. 4v1, and Parasite now a 4v1, himself. so let's switch over to Parasite. He is the Lone Ranger, and he has four very talented Envy players seeking him out. Now, what's going to be important here is that he doesn't die to Rambo. Rambo's actually on a three streak. Oh. And no, it's gone. Oh, just as I say that, Rambo picks up the fourth. Now, he's going to be so, so close to those score streaks. We'll have to have a quick look at the start of the next round, see exactly how many points he has. But nice play from him, just jumping around that corner, knew exactly what Parasite was up to. Had Stainville in support there Smarty as well. took that from Stainville, and that was yeah, actually really sucks. helpful for us. Stainville got the assist, and Rambo, who's Search getting mounting up his kills here, I think he's, yeah, look at that. So he, instead of going with an RC car, which is sometimes a common pick on Search and Destroy here, and, and weird that he didn't go with the bomb as well. I would like to see him get a plant, maybe some points from that, but yeah. Rambo, he's just ready to go run and gun. Let's see what he's able to do. Very close to that Hellstorm, not too far away, and that is going to be a game changer if he can earn that. Once again, we're seeing this envious lineup play very, very slowly on the attacking side. Very used to seeing teams either rush A or B, try and get those early map control, get that bomb down as quickly as possible. Not Envy, they're much more strategic in their play. As Rambo desperately trying to find this first kill now, actually going to think about going up towards this A bomb site. Has one player directly to his right. He is going to go straight up to the left, though. So nice play from him. He may actually be able to pick the player off. He is. He's come oh, right behind oh, him. Nice, oh. smart, intelligent play from Rambo. He's on a five streak. He's so, so close to his first score streak. He's so close here. As now five consecutive kills. Looking at the scoreboard. Seven Rambo, and one. seven and one, what? everyone. He is single-handedly carrying his team. If the rest of those players can step That's up and help done. him, it's going to be scary for the Farico team. Oh, Bob goes down as well. 42 seconds left. It's a four versus three situation in favor of Envy. Rambo obviously still on this huge streak. What can Farico do? 
Sticking on board with Rambo. He's going to get out there. I think it's somebody just got some shots off. Going to switch oh. out there. Karma oh, takes down. out Rambo. Switching over to Stainville. Proofy picks up a two-piece there. That's going to be huge for a team. And Stainville washes it down as now they win yet another round. Envy here had a slow start when they lost that first round, but now they're up 2-1. They're picking it up. Massively proofy with those two kills on that bomb site. Stainville picking up the last one. Nice play from them, but Karma, that kill, he may not actually realize just how big that was. Yeah. Shutting down Rambo just before that health missile. That's going to be big, big play. That is arguably going to keep Fariko in this game for now. Let's see, who do you want to jump on board with here? I think we got to watch Proofy. Yeah. Actually, no, Rambo is the one. Look at Rambo's got seven, seven kills. Yeah, Let's seven. see what this guy can do. <laughs> and a sniper rifle in his hand. Oh, oh, almost picked that one up. I mean, real close. Almost got a headshot on it. As now he's going to switch over back to the MP7. So Rambo, he is just a, a man on a mission. He's the one to stop here for the MV squad. It looks like he's going to rotate now towards the B bomb site. Pulls out that sniper. Going to go for a bit of a... Long shot, not gonna see anyone there just yet. Goes for the wall bank just in case. No one there, and this is now where the mind games come in. Rambo just trying to decide where have these Fariko players gone? A good engagement going down there on the left-hand side. He knows there's gonna be a few more Fariko players around here. Four versus three, 45 seconds left. He sees that, pull that sniper out there, Rambo. Trying to get some MP7 shots here. Bomb is down, emmy has got a defuse B. There's only two players up. It's Rambo and Stainville against Miracles, Killa and Karma. They've got to defuse the bomb here against now. They're gonna make it a 2v2 situation as Stainville takes out Killa. Now Rambo oh. almost picks up a huge kill there, but not able to get it. And now he picks oh. up, takes out Karma. Just one left in Miracles. He's got to keep that bomb off. And now Rambo going for the defuse. Where is Miracles? Oh, no, Miracles! Oh, goodness! Oh my oh, god, the name! My goodness! Miracles! No, you did it! The clutch! We're going to see that in the round any kill cam. No Stop. way! How? This is it. He's get the out of here. Throw oh. the sun. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Throws the Semtex on Switching the person, diffusing, takes care of business there, wraps it up. Switching Miracles just story. making it look easy. The clutch right there. Oh, this is Miracles. That's, that's, a, that's a top, top five player in the championship. Oh, for sure. Without a shadow of a doubt, at this yeah. level, the last map in the grand final here at the Call of Duty World Championship. Just pull off a play like that. Amazing play. We're going to start things off now on board with JCap, pushing this left hand side. And just so everyone knows, COD Esports is trending worldwide. If you haven't dropped your COD Esports tweet in, make sure you do it now. The time is now here. Game number 11 at the Call of Duty Championship brought to you by Xbox, tied up 2-2. What a close matchup between these two squads. Like we said before, it was only ever going to go this way. We see it going 5-5 last round. It's just been the fairy tale story. As we're still on board with JCap. Now we're going to have to think about rotating around back towards the next bomb site. Obviously, MV on attack. 43 seconds remaining. They need to try and make some moves now. Yeah, absolutely here. Let's see what's going on with the rest of the team. We've got Stainville that's actually pushed up, and he does have the bomb waiting to make a move in here onto B. You've got Fariko a little bit back, so this is a great opportunity for Stainville to get this bomb down, and he should be able to get it down. No Fariko player going to be able to challenge that. Bomb Bombs is up. down for Envy, and this is now going to be huge for this squad as it's a 4v4 with bomb down. Fariko going to have to get into the B bomb site. Karma trying to get a good angle. Not going to happen, though. Two of his teammates already going down. Two versus four situation. There's any... A few seconds remain, 27 seconds to be precise. Oh, 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 oh. One versus four now to Killer. Can he try and produce the biggest clutch of his life? He's taken down one. Jumping around those corners, gonna get tagged up. Needs to challenge though, he doesn't have that long. May try and actually just suicide here. No way, not Killer, man. He is way too aggressive. He wants it, well, maybe now with 11 seconds left, he might, no, he's gonna challenge this. Not gonna do a suicide here. As the bomb's you he's gonna get one kill. Now he's just trying to rack up some kills here. As now he saw a player run away. If he can get that kill as well. No, no he doesn't. So not able to get another kill and just jumps off. A bit confused as to why he's that, actually just... That, that actually wasn't yet. necessary. That, but that wasn't necessary because the bomb had already exploded. He I guess just, he just wanted to go for a swim, Benson. He, he, you know, it's, it's hot out here in LA. You just watch good. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know about that. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is. And Rambo with that round ending kill cap. That's going to be now 3-2 to NB in this search and destroy meltdown. Search you are just destroy. tuning in. Where have you oh been? Oh my gosh, Rambo <laughs> is in the double 11 digits. and 4 already. If, if NB wins this game number 11, It'll be because of Rambo, Without who after only five rounds has 11 kills. We're staying on board with this guy. He's on fire here for his squad. Once again, trying to figure out where the Fariko plays are. A few kills going down. Killer shuts down. Jacob Proofy responds by immediately showing him out. 
three versus three, one minute seven. Rambo trying to just figure out what this plan and strategy is on for Rico. Smoke goes down at B. He's gonna push this. I like the challenge. He's gonna get a kill. Oh. No! Taken down. He felt like he was a hero there and was not able to make it happen. Stainville does have an RC car, and it's a 2v2 situation. Proofy and Stainville up against wow. Miracles and Parasite. And here comes the RC car. A little rough driving there. Gonna check the bomb site. No one planning. Okay. Let's see where else we can go with that thing. And now continuing to drive it. See if he can find anybody and just gonna blow that up so he can just keep going here. So Stainville, now the bomb is down at A. They've got to defuse it. And Proofy and Stainville are up going against Miracles and Parasite. These guys have it locked down. And you've got Parasite right on top of the bomb, but Miracles actually not inside the ring. He's gonna watch from the outside. I actually like this placement. It's not gonna be expected by the MVT. He still has that Semtex available. If you remember the last round going big with the Semtex. Parasite has already taken down one, so it's a one versus two. Stainville, can he get any kills? Well, he's gonna take no. that one. No way, he's gonna get the second Miracle oh. turn. Big, big play from Miracles. Managing to stay up just when Stainville wow. was about to get the turn on. Denied 3-3 three, three here in the Call of Duty World Championship. Oh. Search and destroy meltdown. Miracle was so close here getting taken out by Stain though, which who that would have been amazing. That, no, that would have been just uh, unreal. Pinson, it's three <laughs> to three here. Game number 11. Oh, oh my days. Days. If our heart rate is this high, I can't even imagine what the players are right now. Well, we'll get on board with Envy now. They're on the you want to stay on Envy? I think, well, they're on the attacking round now, so they need to try and make this play. And you can see them pushing this right hand side early on. On board with Sable. He is going to be the designated bomb carrier for this Envy lineup, throwing that trophy system off. Early, he's in the MMS as well. Not gonna have vision on him, in fact, he does. Very weak. Yeah, he got he Hustle got some shots there quickly. Equipment. However, Jcap Cap was able to take Killer, so it's a four v three situation in favor of the MV squad. So taking out Killer was incredibly helpful for this squad. And let's switch over to Jcap Cap here. They're all playing a little bit back, as you can see. Quick shot to the mini map. This entire team for Envy just staying a little bit back here, trying to draw Farico out. But with this said, this has allowed Farico, the yellow uh, triangles, to move up and getting really good spots on defense. As we cut back in here, here's JCap. Parasite takes out Rambo. It's a 3v3 situation. Shots fired by JCap, takes out Parasite. 3v2 here. Huge plays coming back and forth. 35 seconds left on the clock. Envy either taking out the Farico squad, but has to get that bomb down if they're not going to do that. The problem is Envy don't have enough time to ever extend Just to the other bomb site, but it's going to be Karma left all by himself. If he can take down the bomb planet, which he has done with 23 seconds left, he can't afford to just run away. Try and force the play. One versus two bomb being planted right now at B. Let's see what Karma is able to do here. Oh my gosh. Bomb oh, planet. Oh, no. no. Rushed in, managed to pick down one, but Proofy responds, gets that round ending kill cam. That's now gonna be four rounds to three. Switching operation. Four, three, now the rounds are gonna be switched. Let's have a look at the Fruico lineup now. We need to see if they can try and respond on the attack. Who do you want to go? Should we see Karma? We're going to jump on board yeah, with Karma ball. here as, for the Fariko squad as we switch over to him. And let's see what Fariko can do. Envy's got the 4-3 to three lead here. Envy only two rounds away. If they can win two consecutive rounds, they will be crowned the Call of Duty champions. The tensions are high here, and it only gets higher as these yep. rounds get closer <laughs> and closer. Let's see what Karma's able to do. And these guys, again, now playing, taking kind of a page out of Envy's book, playing a little bit slower, not going to go in for an aggressive B push in the eyes of Karma here. The bomb carrier is actually going to be Parasite, sticking on board still with Karma. Let's switch actually on to Parasite here. He does have the bomb. Let's see what he's able to do with it. Just, again, playing very, very defensive. Neither of these two teams want to give away any pointless kills. Rightly so when you're playing for $200,000. 40 seconds remaining, a few shots gonna go down from Parasite, not gonna connect, but time is of the essence. They freak they need to make the play now. They're, they're leaving it a little bit too late for my liking. That's now Parasite. Just gonna try and think about getting that bomb now. Gonna see one on the left hand side. Is Ooh. he gonna connect with the kill? Yes, he is shooting down Proofy. pre in the top right, sees another one, but shut down. Three versus three, only 21 seconds left. On board with Miracles here for Farico. Back and forth, now it's a 3v1 situation. 15 seconds left on the clock. Karma's gotta get that bomb down. He gets taken out there. 10 seconds left on the clock. Stainville's got it two, it's oh one versus my one. Goodness. And now the bomb is gonna go down, so Stainville's not close. Enough time to get Stainville. the bomb down here. And now bomb down for Farico. Stainville. 
Will has got to come up a hero here, and if he does that, this will be so massive for the Envy squad. And now, Killa and Stanbill. Oh, oh my gosh, in. back and forth. They see each other, a 1v1 battle. This is so insane here. Smart Killa, play. smart play. He's going to get out of the way of Stainville. Trying to oh, big play from Killa. Oh, my goodness. Big, big play he from Killa. He pops out. He knows that Stainville was going to engage him. Comes out. Nice play by Killa to take out Stainville, and it's tied 4-4. Four, four. Kill this is the oh. craziest <laughs> series in the history of Call of Duty, man. Oh, this could well be the greatest <laughs> series of Call of Duty ever. It, it, it really, really could. It's been so, it's so, so close. Kill it right there. I mean, the intelligence. He realized Stainville knew where he was. He ran away and then turned at the perfect time. Managed to get an easy, easy kill on Stainville there and prevent that one versus three clutch. But for now, it's 4-4 four, four here at the oh, Call of Duty World Championship Final. Search and destroy Meltdown. We're on board with this for a Rico lineup. They're currently on defense. Rumble with Killer, he's gonna make his way over towards this A bomb site. He's gonna be all by himself, trying to anticipate what Envy are gonna do. Now, Envy have been very, very slow on the attack throughout the entire game. They've just been picking their moments, picking their gunfights, and going from there. And Killer is gonna have to stay here for a while. Oh, man, this is... So, <laughs> Killer just holding off on A. Envy, I think they kind of understand now that Envy's playing a little bit slower, waiting to draw out for Rico, so they've just gotta be patient here and hold down their area. But it looks like Envy's starting to make a push into A. Yep. And it's worth mentioning as well, since we were saying about how big Rambo's been playing, he actually hasn't got a single kill. He's still on 11 kills at this moment in time, so not actually able to carry on that performance, but 34 seconds left. With there Killer. it is. Killer, Killer draws one. first blood, takes out Jcap. Stainville returns the favor as we switch over to Miracles here for the Frigo squad. But Stainville is going to get the bomb down for Envy. So on board with Miracles. Parasite takes out Proofy. Bomb is down. 3v2 situation. It is at the A bomb site. Stainville takes him out. Switch over to Parasite. Picks up a nice kill on Stainville. Now it's a 2v1 yep. situation. Only Rambo up. Bomb is down in favor of the Envy squad. So Frigo at Parasite. Parasite has to be able to get this one out. Karma is with them. And now they're going to breach bang and clear here to go for the defuse. They got to find Rambo down. Oh. They find him. Plenty of time on the clock. Karma's got that actually smart play. Going to give it to Parasite because Parasite. Parasite's going to get closer to his RC he's car. Gonna, he's going to get he it. Actually, he's going to get it here. He, is he going to get it? Yep. He's going to get it. The RC car. He's going to grip it and rip it here with that RC car. I, I don't think Parasite's a really good driver with the RC car. <laughs> Actually, I've seen him I, play I think you're hard-pressed to find any think, Call of Duty pro player that can use the what, RC car. What you're going to see them do now, this is something we saw at EGL when Parasite actually got an R60 car. It was the exact same map, actually, interesting enough. What he's going to do is he's going to call that in, and he's going to let his teammates chase the RC XD. Now, what that's going to do is enable the Envy players. They have that choice. Do they go for the kill, or do they go for the RC XD? So he acts as Both one of those really too difficult... close though and die. Well, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, 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 is, that is obviously <laughs> an option that can happen, but it's a very, very smart play. And we see Fariko do it time and time again. For now, Jcap making his way towards his left hand side bomb site. Fariko is one yep. round away from winning the championship. There you see Killa's car, that was not Parasite, so Parasite still has an RC car as well. We're gonna jump on board with him. Smoke screens up, bomb is going down. No, decides not to, but now he, he does second guess himself. He's gonna put the bomb down here. Jcap takes out Karma, bomb is down oh, for Fariko. He gets out of there, able to dodge it, and then gets taken oh, out, down. jumping on with Miracles. It's a 4v2 situation. Envy has to win this round in order to stay in it. Miracles One, picks, up, two. picks up two. By Stainville, just kill it alive. It's a 1v1. Proofy versus Killer. The bomb is down for Fariko. Shots fired. Killer trying to desperately take out Proofy. Proofy has away. to go out and defuse it. Killer gonna draw him out. Shoot Killer, him. Oh, so close so to a weak. championship. It's all hanging on this one kill. 12 seconds left on the clock. He's done Proofy it. has to go back. Killer's gonna have to chase Proofy. Proofy has to go for the defuse He's here. He's done it. He's gonna get it. Killer's gonna get it. He does it. We have Fariko a champion. the championship. Fariko, your winner here. The call. Duty Championship winner is Fariko. Wow. What an amazing matchup here. Wow, they win $400,000. The trophy, the rigs, the glory, and three consecutive tournament wins. MLG, EGL, and the most important one of them all, the Call of Duty Championship. The hat trick coming from Fariko Impact. And what an incredible play from Killer. We saw him do it a few rounds ago. One versus one, baited out the kill. That right there, unbelievable play. That clutch, that was a $200,000 clutch. Just think about that, that's huge play. What an amazing wow. play. You could not have asked 
for a better championship final between these two teams. For Rico Impact, they started down. They, they were did. down three to two. They fought back into it inch by inch. Hardpoint Raid, the game that they should have closed it out. Envy said, no, we are going to beat you here, push it to a game 11. And then finally, Farico Impact wins it 6-4 and just a heart racing finish there in a 1v1. Proofy not able to get the defuse. Farico Impact wins it. They are your Call of Duty champions. Just what a month it what has been match. for them. And what a ma that, that's probably the best match series of Black Ops 2 we've ever oh, seen. Yeah. Without, without a doubt. 600,000 dollars on the line, <laughs> yeah, too, true. man. I mean, of course, here. <laughs> All right, well, let's go down to Justine for the award ceremony. Justine, how you doing down there? Wow, guys, let's all congratulate Frico Impact on their win. And please help me welcome to the stage Treyarch studio head Mark Lamia and David Bonderhar, game design director of Treyarch. Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing, guys. Congratulations. To you guys, amazing, amazing, amazing run. The whole thing, these finals. Let's hear it for the winners one more time. Farico Impact. All right. Listen, thanks to all, everybody who participated. I'd like to thank all of our partners, everybody who worked, the team members, everyone who made this possible. Listen, the Call of Duty. Championship presented by Xbox has been the ultimate esports. This weekend, we brought together the world's best 32 Call of Duty 2 teams. And what, really, really, but who's the best? Farico Impact. You guys made it the whole way. We want to listen. I think it's time to get down to the real business now. So, I think we have a little something for you that we want to present to you aside from this trophy. All right. All right. Here it is, guys. All right, David, David, David. Here we go, guys. We'd like to present to you, on behalf of Treyarch, Activision, and Xbox, $400,000. Amazing, amazing. You guys have had an amazing run. You deserve it. You are the best Call of Duty team in the world. Congratulations. So let's take a real quick photo here. David, come on. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Hey, to everybody in the Call of Duty community, thank you. We'd be nothing without fans like all of you. Like the, like the players on these teams we've seen over the last couple of days, like our friends online that we play with all the time. All right, listen, there's one more thing. There's another cause that celebrates our community, something that's extremely important to Treyarch and Activision, and that's the Call of Duty Endowment.